There's been another recall of infant sleepers, and this time it's kids too that's on the chopping block. Why? Because five infant deaths have been associated with their rocking sleepers. So if you've got a rocking sleeper in your house, stop using it until you verify whether or not it's affected by the product recall. And if it is, and you want a refund, keep watching because in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of to, as to how to get the refund and give you a complete list of all of the products affected by the recall. If you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's jump into it. As you can see, once again, I've got on my nurse clothes. I am a retired community health nurse, and one of the causes that I wholeheartedly support is safe sleep. So whenever I hear about products or situations that lead to baby death, I have to bring it to my community. And on April 26, Kids 2 recalled all models of their rocking sleepers. That affects almost 660,000 products in more than 50 product lines. Kids 2 started marketing rocking sleepers in 2012 and since that time there's been five infant deaths associated with their products. According to Kids 2, these deaths occurred when babies rolled from their back to their stomach while unrestrained or from other circumstances. So what usually happens in these kind of situations is that the babies are just beginning to learn to roll over. They roll over on their stomach and they get their little noses and their mouths smooshed up against the soft material in the sleeper and they're unable to roll back and so they suffocate. Now what are the other circumstances? Well, that I don't know. But considering that these are inclined sleepers, meaning that baby is sleeping on an incline, not flat like this, which is what is recommended by safe sleep practices, but they're sleeping on an incline. And what could possibly be happening is that when their head tips forward, it tips forward just enough to block their airway. So just imagine, I am now talking to you with my head down and so my airway is altered just a little bit. And so you notice the change in my voice. And of course, there's also a change in my ability to breathe with my head down like that. So the position poses a suffocation risk. So let me just say right here, right now, that babies sleep best on their backs. Think about the ABCs, alone, on their backs, and in a crib. And the crib should be of have a flat surface, a firm mattress, and a fitted sheet. No toys, no blankets, no bumper pads, no nothing in the crib but baby. A particular concern about this recall is that these rocking sleepers are marketed under a number of different brands. There are more than 50 product lines in this recall. And this is just a partial list so you can see the scope of the recall. And I'll put the complete list up at the end of the video. And there are three slides, so make sure you examine all three slides to see if your sleeper is on the list. Or you can go to the website that I'm showing you here and you can see a complete pictorial list of those sleepers that are being recalled and that might be an easy way for you to check to see if your sleeper is one of the ones in the picture list. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact the Kids to Recall hotline. Since they've determined that these products are hazardous, they're offering to give you a refund or to provide you with a product voucher for another Kids to product. 
what you are eligible for will be determined by kids too. And it will have something to do with when you purchased your sleeper, whether or not you have a receipt, and that kind of thing. Here's how to start the process. Enter your information on the product identification screen, which includes the model number and the manufacturing date. You'll find the model number and the manufacturing date code on the smallest sewn-in label attached to the seat pad. Collect these numbers and enter them on the screen. You will also include information on when you either purchase the sleeper and how much you paid for it or when you received it. Look the information over carefully and if all is correct, hit the submit button. If your particular sleeper is affected by the recall, you will receive a message that your product is affected by the recall and you will then be asked to register your product. So hit the register button to start the process. When that next screen opens up, complete the online registration form. Once you do that, you will receive a confirmation letting you know that your registration has been completed and accepted and that you will hear back from kids too within five business days by email. And they will tell you in that email what you're to do next. You're also asked to hang on to the product. That means put it out in the garage or put it in the attic, but get it out of the house. You don't want it inside of family members or child caregivers or whatever because you don't want anyone using that sleeper with baby. You want it out of the house now, if you choose not to apply for the refund, you just want to get rid of the sleeper, then you need to destroy it. Don't put it out of the curb. Don't donate it to the Goodwill or the Salvation Army. You need to destroy it because you don't want to put another baby at risk. So make sure that it's not usable when you destroy it. Now, here's the list of sleepers being recalled. And like I said, there are three slides. So make sure you examine each one to see whether or not your sleeper is on the list. And if it is, stop using it immediately and then apply for a refund if you choose to or destroy the sleeper if you don't want to apply for a refund. And you can also go to the Kids to uh, Recall website. They have a pictorial list that shows all of the products that are being recalled and if this is more helpful to you to actually see a picture of what the sleepers look like and you can pick your sleeper out of the bunch, then do that. And I've also got that information here on the screen. So what questions do you still have about how to apply for the refund? Tell me in the comment section below. And I also have a video on what a safe sleep environment looks like. It's just a 30 second public service announcement and I will link it above and link it below so that you can take advantage of it. Please do look at it. Like I said, it's only 30 seconds and it could save your baby's life. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video.